Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today I wanted to take a quick look at some Warhammer Underworlds uh, Shade Spa uh, sleeves. I've got here the, uh, the the themed sleeves for the Fast Riders and for Magor's Fiends or Magor's Fiends. I'm still not entirely sure how you pronounce that. Um, honestly, I don't normally buy card sleeves um i generally don't see the point in it i know a lot of people love them um but i just don't really buy them um but games workshop started releasing shades bar themed sleeves um and it's not something they normally do and i kind of wanted to show my support i suppose for them doing something they don't normally do which is you know something that a lot of board gamers like which is you know having the options to to protect their cards so um so every time i've bought an expansion pack for shade spa i've also bought the accompanying sleeves because they're, they're not very expensive and you know they're it's just kind of like my little my little way not that games workshop need the extra couple of quid off me it's not like you know they're really strapped for cash but you know I'm one of those people that I tend to put my money where my mouth is. If I see a company doing something that I approve of, um, I like to sort of, you know, do my bit to kind of to kind of make make sure they, they continue doing good things. Um, so yeah, um, but I wanted to just have a quick look because it's you know, it's they're, it's, they're slightly weird. <laughs> um, you will notice. Um, for a start you get an odd number of sleeves in the deck um and by odd i don't mean not even i mean an unusual number and it's not always consistent um for the fast riders you get 35 cards uh magos fiends you get 36. now the reason for that is because you actually get three different types of sleeve in each pack you get um clear sleeves for the cards the unit cards so um one you get one sleeve for each model that you've got basically um and then you get um i'll show you the back there you go you get 20 printed power card sleeves and then 12 printed objective card sleeves and then in this case it's three clear fighter card sleeves and that's because the fast riders only have three units in the warband magor's fiends has four units and therefore you get 36 cards in uh, 36 sleeves in in the pack so it's it's the the exact amount varies based on the ex, you know the the war band that they're for um and the reason you get 20 power cards is because although you can have more than 20 power cards in your deck 20 is kind of the recommended number um and it's also it's it's just it's a really good idea to keep your deck as streamlined as possible because shades bar moves at a hell of a clip um you don't get very many activations um there's only three turns um and you really want to make sure you've got the cards you need when the opportunity arises because often your window to use a card is it's fleeting so if you've got a, a wedge of 40 cards you may never even get the cards you need in your hand so 20 is kind of i always build to 20 i think i don't know uh, maybe people go for maybe a few more or whatever but um i think 20 is a good amount and that's what i always build to um you get 12 objective sleeves because your deck has to have 12 objective cards in it um and there you go so that's where you get those amounts i mean obviously that does cause some issues i mean for example you don't have to have 20 power cards in in your deck if you have more this sleeve pack isn't going to cover you you're not you're going to need to buy more than one sleeve pack um and also the other problem is if you do a lot of de deck building and a lot of um in between games you're constantly shuffling your deck about and refining it um you will find um that you spend a lot of time putting cards in and out of the sleeves um but i guess you know that's that's the that's just the cross you have to bear if you want the themed the themed sleeves because um it could be quite expensive to buy enough sleeves for every single card in this game um so yeah so we'll take a quick look um so this is um this the that's the your unit card sleeve uh, they're they're I don't know how many microns or anything they are, and I don't think it actually says on the pack either, but they seem, you know, of really good quality to me. Like I say, I'm not an expert on sleeves. Um, it's not something I normally buy, and I couldn't really tell you if they're great or not. They seem to be. They are a tight fit. 
um, you have to kind of give them a little sort of you have to shimmy them a little bit like that and, and then put your card in um, and be, be careful which again goes back to that you know if you're pulling cards in and out all the time it, it can be a little bit of a nuisance this is um, the objective cards they're the, the gold ones and then you get a matching symbol in a different color for the um, for the power cards. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's how, how it works. You build you build your deck. You, you sleeve them up. And if you change your deck between games, you have to pull those cards back out unless you buy extra. And there is exactly just enough for kind of like the recommended deck size, basically, because you have to have twelve of those. It's recommended to have twenty of those, and then you've obviously got one one each for your units there are no spares there's no you know there's no extra ones in case one splits um there's no extra ones if you suddenly decide you know what i want to i want to have 21 cards in my deck this game you, you know you, you're stuffed you either have to take all of your cards out of the, the protectors or, or go and buy yourself another pack um but that's it really i just want i realized that i've done quite a lot of content on shade spire in the past but i've never really um i don't recall really showing the sleeves off or, or talking about it in in more than a passing moment in any of my other videos so I thought I might as well do a quick video just to sort of talk about them a little bit more and, and sort of explain what you're getting and um, whether whether that is worth getting like I say I don't normally sleeve but I, I wanted to, to show my support for it and I do use them um, I, I, I kind of go to that extra effort of flipping cards in and out um, and they look quite pretty and they, they do feel you know they, they feel sturdy um and that's pretty much all i've got to say about it really um what about you guys uh, are you guys buying these sleeves or are you tempted to buy these sleeves or have you basically gone this is too much effort and you've just gone and bought a load of blank sleeves or you're just not sleeving at all um let me know in the comments what you're thinking and i will hopefully see you all again soon Bye bye